In the ancient city of Avelia, nestled between the sprawling mountains and the shimmering sea, there lived a man named Amar, who was known far and wide as the cleverest thief in all the land. With the grace of a shadow, he slipped in and out of opulent estates, leaving no trace of his misdeeds behind. The sparkle of stolen jewels and the clink of ill-gotten gold were his only companions in the lonely darkness of the night. Amar, however, was not always so consumed by the desire for riches. Once he had been a boy of simple means, raised by a loving family who instilled in him the values of honesty and hard work. But as fate would have it, a series of unfortunate events led him astray, blinding him to the light of his own conscience. One fateful evening, as Amar was preparing to burgle the lavish mansion of the affluent merchant Lord Montague, something extraordinary happened. As he crept through the silent gardens, his gaze was drawn upwards to the heavens, where the radiant silvery face of the full moon smiled down at him, casting its enchanting glow over the landscape. Mesmerized by its ethereal beauty, Amar found himself transfixed, whispering softly to the moon. Oh, wondrous moon, how I envy your everlasting brilliance, your unwavering presence in the night sky. If only I could shine as brightly as you. To his astonishment, the moon's light seemed to flicker and dance as if in response to his words. Then a soft celestial voice spoke, resonating deep within his troubled soul. Amar, your heart craves more than stolen treasures and fleeting triumphs. Seek not to take from others but to nurture the light within. It is never too late to rewrite your story and find redemption. Amar stood frozen, his heart pounding with a mixture of awe and disbelief. With the moon's message echoing in his mind, he abandoned his plans for the night and fled from Lord Montague's mansion, his mind consumed with newfound thoughts and a yearning for change. Guided by the moon's ethereal glow, he embarked on a soul-stirring journey, encountering kind strangers who offered him shelter, sustenance, and most importantly, wisdom. From the humble fisherman who shared his catch to the wise old sage who spoke of the power of forgiveness, each encounter chiseled away at the hardened shell of his heart, revealing the flicker of empathy and compassion that had long been dormant within him. As the seasons passed and Amar traversed distant lands, he learned the profound value of honesty, empathy, and selflessness. With each step, the weight of his past transgressions grew lighter, and the sparkle in his eyes shone brighter. Finally, after a long and arduous pilgrimage, he found himself atop the tallest peak of the mystic Mount of Velia, gazing at the moon in all its celestial glory. Overwhelmed with gratitude, he whispered into the night, Dear moon, your guidance has transformed me. I now understand that true wealth resides not in material possessions, but in the richness of the soul. In that moment, the moon seemed to shine with an otherworldly brilliance, illuminating Amar's entire being with an indomitable warmth. It was as if the moon had imparted upon him not just its light, but a new purpose, to illuminate the lives of others, to inspire them to seek the radiance within their own hearts. From that day forth, Amar dedicated his life to acts of kindness and benevolence, using his skills not to take from others, but to give back to those in need. His tale of transformation spread far and wide, becoming a timeless reminder that within every darkness, there resides a glimmer of celestial light, waiting to guide us back to the path of compassion, integrity, and everlasting fulfillment. And Amar, once the master of shadows, became the harbinger of hope and the guardian of the moon's eternal wisdom.